Welcome to BPEC YouTube channel. So today we will be learning about end-to-end uh, -end data analytic roadmap or we can say job ready data analytic roadmap to grab a job in 2024. Now before getting into data analytics and the detailed roadmap, I think here I came up with a roadmap what, what exactly you need to learn. So before getting into this, let's try to understand first thing. So there are various questions. For example, Kant, there is tools like uh, Power BI, for example, here. You're able to see there is a tool like Power BI and there is a tool like Tableau and there are various data visualization tools. Whenever you are getting into the market, there are various data visualization tools like Tableau, Power BI. Just learning Power BI or just learning Tableau, can I get a job as a Tableau developer or a Power BI developer? The answer is yes, you can get a job as a Tableau developer or a Power BI developer. But if you are planning to get more opportunities, means like if you are planning to get a good CTC, or if you are planning to get a long-term career, whenever you are planning in lines of data visualization, then instead of learning only Power BI and Tableau, if you can learn bunch of skill set, that going to create a lot of advantage. So let's try to understand each element. So when to learn, why to learn this particular element so that you get a more understanding. So now what exactly a data analyst do or a Power BI developer or a Tableau developer do in a company is in simple, they create a dashboard. Now, for example, you got a business problem. What is the business problem? I'm running a business, let's say it's a sales business like Amazon or whatever it is. I want to know how, how much sales happened. So how much sales happened from last month to this much, this month and which products got high amount of sales in which locations we sold more. And if you are looking into the marketing, so how much money we spent on marketing campaigns and how much money we wasted and how much money we got it as an effective marketing campaign. Is it doing well or it is ineffective? So we need to understand all these elements. So how can we do that? So we, we got a reporter or we got a BI reporter in the olden days. This guy used to develop this kind of reports. So how someone can do that? Yes, we can do it using tool like Excel. We got a tool like Excel in the olden days, even right now as well. There are a lot of companies, they use Excel. They create the beautiful uh, dashboards using pivot tables. So as a data analyst or as a reporting person, you can use Excel based on your company or the reports you are generating are very huge and uh, it is taking a lot of time to develop it in Excel. You are able to rely on Power BI or you can rely on your Tableau kind of data visualization tools. So now what is there inside this uh, reports? So there are KPI. So what is meant by KPI? Key performance indicators. So now what is a KPI in a very simple note? Now the business owners measures their growth of a business based on sales or they measure it based on the drop in expenses or they measure it based on the amount of marketing money they are spending. So they are spending very less amount of marketing money and they still get a huge sales that may be a KPI. So how much growth happening from month to month that is a KPI. So now whether you are using Power BI or Tableau or Excel end of the day, you are showcasing a very good KPIs in a dashboard. So the people going to get a broader understanding, the managers going to get a broader understanding about their business, about their health care business or marketing or finance, whatever it is. That is the basic role of a data analyst or even a Power BI developer or a Tableau developer or even we can say Excel analyst. Now, why someone need to learn entire this particular toolkit? Why not only Power BI and Tableau? So as I said, so in order to broaden up your opportunities. Now, for example, you are working as a data analyst. Now your role is not just about creating reports. You may perform data storing operations. You may do a bit of data retrieval operations. How you do data retrieval? So the limited data, you do it in Excel. If there is a huge amount of data, majority of the people rely on a relational database. So which we call it as SQL. So that's the reason. So having an SQL knowledge, so for a data analyst is very, very important. So now whenever you are targeting as a Power BI developer, if you can add SQL, that's going to give you a greater edge in your market or in the job market. That's the reason. If you can plan a SQL skill set, that's going to be a mind-blowing advantage for your career. So now why SQL? So to store a data. So in order to manipulate the data, so you have a columns, you want to change the column names, so you need to know how to manipulate it. 
and you want to retrieve top 10 customers or you want to retrieve top 10 years or you want to re retrieve various things so based on you want to increase a you want to give a salary hike for all this i think data retrieval commands are very very important so sql is very important that's the reason in data analytic interviews even the interviewers give you a lot of focus on sql based coding challenges and they go and ask you about sql based retrieval commands they try to spend a very good amount of time and apart from it so what they will be doing is if you take it there is a concept like data warehousing data lake and we got star schema snowflake schema designs so why someone need to learn about data warehousing and the data lake concepts why someone need to learn about star schema snowflake so within data warehouse what is a data warehouse if you are trying to store a structured data now whatever the data you are storing in sql is a structured data that can be called as a data warehouse now what is data lake so all the unstructured data so like we are calling it as a data lake so there is a huge amount of text reviews you are dumping it one place we call it as a data lake so data lake is unstructured whereas data warehouse is a structured data so whenever you are dealing with data warehouse you try to perform etl operation so you extract the data from your source you transform the data and you load it into a data warehouse like an sql or it can be like your bigquery any platform now data lake is you try to perform elt operation you extract the data you load the data into data lake when there is a requirement you transform it so whenever you are trying to learn sql it's not just like you are learning sql you need to know what is a data warehouse so whenever it is a data warehouse how you store the data inside an sql if you take relational database so you are trying to store the data with the help of star schema design and a snowflake we call them as data models so we call it as data model so what is a data model so how you need to store the data in sql is explained with the help of data model so now whether you are storing in a star schema design or you are storing in a snowflake schema design so why you are storing in a star schema design if you are doing star schema there is a concept like normalization normalization forms comes into the picture so whenever you are learning hey i know sql it's not just about sql but you are learning a bit of data warehousing concepts data modeling concepts like star schema and snowflake schema are very very important and apart from it so whenever you are designing it so you need to have a good knowledge on what is normalization what is data integrity what is referential integrity this kind of concepts if you can learn related to data analytics that going to be a mind blowing advantage so now all this as i'm saying so you can still you can just learn power bi and tableau but why you are learning is to expand your opportunities and you are trying to be realistic data analyst so you are not just like only a reporter you can do data related operations so you can get roles related to data creation data pipeline creation data retrieval you get opportunities so now apart from it you are able to work as a reporter and apart from it now the goal is not just to be good with your current skill set so even you need to think about future now i'm learning data analytics in future if uh, my if, if there is a trouble i shouldn't be i shouldn't be fired away from my company or i shouldn't be laid off from my company i need to be secure about my job so for that reason what you are doing you are learning about python why someone is learning python is so if you want to do cleaning so etl i said right so in order to clean the data and to store a structured data into sql you need to clean your data you can still clean your data in power bi using power query related operations but how you can clean it better so you can if you want to do complex cleaning so now you can use excel you can use power bi within that you have a power query so even if you want to clean a lot of data then python is a very good amount of data cleaning tool so as a data analyst you are performing data cleaning with your python as well as you can do a minimal dda exploratory data analysis using your python so now for that reason learning a python skill set going to be an advantage especially doing etl using python is a very important skill set you need to target as a data analyst all right so like i completed uh, power bi tableau i know excel i know sql i know warehousing i know star schema design can i still apply for a job yes you can apply for a job so i'm not good with python still even though you're not good with python you can still apply for a job you can get it even if you know power bi and tableau still you can apply for a job but what i personally suggest is do you have a real time project as i said the beginning the companies want to see kpis so why they collected this parameter so now here you are able to see it is a descriptive diagnostic analytics so data analytic role is about a descriptive and a diagnostic what is descriptive and diagnostic is a data analyst is trying to understand what happened in the business the previous one year or 10 years or whatever the duration is 
and they are trying to understand the reasons behind what happened. Now, for example, a huge amount of iPhones got sold in 2023 December. So the data analyst is trying to understand, he's showcasing there is a huge amount of sales of iPhones in 2023. Not only that, so like why this iPhone sales happened? So he's giving a reason behind the iPhone sales. So that is the role of a data analyst. So in order to do this, you can use Excel, you can use Power BI, you can use Tableau. If the data is unclean, you need to clean the data using Python. If the data is not good in your SQL, you need to store it using a star scheme or a snowflake. So without even all the skills, just with a Power BI, if you have an ability to translate a business problem into a dashboard or into an analytical solution, you are more likely to get hired. So how someone can know that you are a right match to that company? So by looking at a real-time projects in your resume. So you need to have a real-time projects or we can say real-time portfolio. So by working on these projects, whenever an interviewer is asking, tell me about yourself, you don't need to say, hey, I'm from this education background, I came to date, you don't need to say that. I'm a data analyst, I got an ability to translate business problems into an analytical solution by using these tools. You can explain that. So by giving that introduction, the interviewers feel more impressed and they'll be asking, tell me about one project you worked. Then you need to explain about your real-time projects which you worked in the company. That is very, very important. Now for that reason, you need to work on a real-time project and not before getting into real-time projects. So whether you work on only Power BI Tableau, have a real-time project. If you worked on Excel, have a real-time project. If you have SQL data warehousing and all this, have a real-time project. And if you have ETL with Python, have a real-time project on that. So by demonstrating real-time projects on each element, that's going to create a lot of weightage. forecasting uh, statistics and probability theory so we can say that that's not that mandatory to master data analytic or we sorry statistics or and uh, what is that probability and forecasting but if you want to plan my goal is not just data analytic in the future I want to target data science profiles so if you can showcase hey, I know analytics I don't collect the data like regular people so while I'm collecting the data I use statistics so uh, based on probability, I make a decisions. I understand distributions of the data based on various probability distributions. And I try to make a statement about the future using various statistical testings like hypothesis testing, like ANOVA test, two sample T test, chi-square test. So uh, we use uh, whether the data is stationary or non-stationary using ad fuller test. So you, you are having that knowledge. You are having, you are not just like a guy with a tool knowledge, but you are having that in-depth understanding of statistics. Why statistics is an advantage? When you are speaking with the seniors, the clients, the stakeholders, they are mostly statistical driven. So some leaders are statisticians. So like that's the reason having a statistical knowledge going to create a good amount of weightage. So think about event stats in case if you are planning uh, to apply for data analytics. I'm not saying that is mandatory, but if you learn it, that's going to create an advantage. So now you learned all this syllabus, for example, if you're planning to get into any of this, for example, hey man, see, uh, I want to learn all this using uh, a detailed program. So I learned, so now this is, if you want, you can do self-study, whatever it is. No, I want a detailed uh, guidance and I want to learn everything in a weekday basis. You are able to enroll for our data analytic career transition program with a remote internship. So where I'm covering all the syllabus, whatever I showcased here, we will be covering this in a live class. So live weekday classes, the class timing is going to be from uh, 8 p.m. to 9.30 p.m. IST time slot. And once you completed all this, as I said, so you'll be having a real-time project on every segment. You'll be having a project related to Python ETL. You'll be having a project related to SQL, uh, data warehousing, star schema. You'll be having a project related to Power BI. You'll be having a project related to Excel. You'll be having a project related to statistics. And if you want, you can use all this and you can work on one end-to-end -end project. Once you completed this project, if you still want to prepare for your uh, interviews, for example, let's say uh, I want to prepare for my interview preparation, do you provide an assistant? Yes, absolutely. 
So we guide you on your end-to-end -end interview preparation. So how to build a resume, what points to place in your resume, how to speak about yourself, how to introduce about yourself, how to explain a project end-to-end. -end. And you will be having doubt classes to clarify your doubts. And we will be giving you for every topic this kind of mind map driven uh, uh, templates we will be giving it and we provide you with all the materials. And not only that, finally, the recorded access is not for one or two days, it's for a lifetime. So anytime you are able to access the lifetime recorded and the lifetime doubt classes. So anytime you can, even after getting a job, you still have a doubt, you can join our doubt classes and you can clarify your doubts without shyness. If you're looking for a one-on-one -on -one call from me, a one-on-one -on -one mentoring call or whatever it is, you can just book it. The links are in the description. And thank you so much. I hope you got a clear idea. So if you want, you can learn all this roadmap. So on your own, in case no, if you want an assistance, you can join my program, Data Analytic Career Transition Program with a remote internship. So thank you so much. I hope you got a clear understanding about Data Analytic Roadmap. So you are able to target it and data analytics jobs are not getting replaced by chat GPT or AI. So they are secure. You can target it. So mostly we can see data analytics job more likely to be called as a data science job profiles in the future. So any doubts? So reach out to me. Thank you so much.